guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel i'm currently in my closet for today's vlogmas video because i want to do some closet organization things with you and to bring you guys along on what i have in store for my closet i did film a little bit this morning of me making banana bread which you guys just saw and then after that i spent pretty much the whole day doing computer work and i had some zoom meetings as well so i did not film much at all today because i just genuinely haven't done anything Anything. and truthfully that's just how most of my days are but since it is vlogmas I obviously have to film for you guys and share with you a little bit of what my day entails and I want to tackle the task of organizing my closet a little bit more and to you guys it probably looks very organized already but there are a few things that I have seen over on TikTok different hacks and different things to do to make your closet a little bit more organized and that's kind of what I want to do today so here's a little before of my closet so you guys can get an understanding of what it is that I'm going to be changing. So for starters, here is where I keep all of my bottoms. I have denim shorts, jeans, dress pants and cargos as well as sweatpants and all of these hangers are going to be swapped out for kid hangers. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about in a second. Right over here are all of my tops. I color coordinate them and kind of keep all of my crop tops on this section and then more of my full length long sleeve tops are over here. Right here I keep all of my sweaters and pullovers and right in this section I keep all of my sweatshirts, crew necks, and jackets as well. And then I have all of these bins on the top shelf which store things that I don't grab at on an everyday basis but are things that I can't get rid of. I have packing cubes and bathing suits, technology stuff, and because I don't have many drawers in my actual closet I feel like this was the best way to store things. And then here I have all of my shoes that I keep in these bins which that's not going to be changing at all but I do need to get more bins because there are some shoes that just don't fit because I ran out of space clearly and right below my shirts I have these two units which I actually got from Target. In one of the drawers I keep all of my pajama sets. I feel like I need to roll these up a little more compact so that I can fit more because this drawer barely closes. So here's the size difference of the hangers. This one on the left is the kid hanger and this one is obviously the full size adult one that I currently have on all of my clothes. Like this one is literally half the size and if you guys can see when you hang up pants on these big hangers there's a lot of room on the side that kind of just sticks out and is unfilled and i've been seeing a lot of tiktoks of people swapping out the big hangers for these toddler or kid size ones and it makes everything look a lot more sleek and just better <laughs> the side view it really makes such a difference and because I walk into my closet and I stare at the sides of the hangers I feel like this is gonna make such a difference from when I first walk in my closet is so perfect. If you guys hang up your pants or denim like this and are trying to save some space in your closet, definitely try this hack. Before, I didn't even have sliding room to look through my denim. And now there's so much room to move these around. The jeans are so close together that there's not as much gapping as with the big hangers. And here's the pile of hangers that I now have as extras to use for any of my tops or sweatshirts. So I'm currently rearranging some stuff around here and I'm clearing off this counter because I have some of my handbags here that I want to somehow display but also just organize all together because I feel like the way that I have it here in the closet at my mom's, I don't ever change out my bags because I don't see them whereas in the closet at my dad's house they're right in front of my face so I remember that I have them so I need to figure out some sort of method to have them on this white unit I feel like I kind of want to put this on this side and display my bags kind of standing up like this I feel like this is good for now because they're all kind of small and thin that they can stack nicely together like this. They honestly don't even stand up if I wanted them to because I don't have bag inserts here. So I think for the time being this is what I'm going to work with. So this is what it looks like. 
and I think this is much better than what I had. And this whole section I can't really do much with because it's just big and bulky, so there's limited options with that. So now I want to tackle the task of my pajama set draw because I feel like I can definitely make this look a lot better and also fit more. <music> So I just watched a few TikToks on how to fold pajama sets, so I'm going to give it a try and see how it goes. So I'm going to take this pant pajama set and try to replicate that TikTok. They said to start off with the pants laid flat. Oh my god, there's so much going on. And then to take the top and retail fold it as the girl said. And you do a half fold like this and then another fold up and then you keep the pajama top right in the middle of the pant, fold over the bottom half and then fold over the top half and open up the waistline and tuck in the bottom of the pant like so. And now you have a little burrito pajama set and then you can stand it up like this in the drawer and they'll all line up perfectly like that. So I'm gonna try this for all of my sets and see how it goes. That was actually really fun to do. I think it's gonna make a big difference, but let's put it all back in the draw and see if we have some more space. This folding hack definitely worked and I will be using it from now on. I feel like it saved me a lot of room because look at all of that back there. I can see the bottom of the drawer, which means we did something good. I feel like my closet looks a bit more open and airy since I don't have clothes filling up this entire section and you can actually see what's on the table. I'm loving how it all turned out and this jean hack is absolutely game changer. I saw this on my For You page. It's from Amazon and it's a suction cup LED light attachment that you can pretty much put anywhere that you want. The lighting in my bathroom is so bad that I knew I had to get this. So I'm going to suction cup it to the mirror. I will leave this linked on my Amazon storefront in the description below. It's literally less than $20. You could even travel with this pretty much anywhere. I think I need this for my vanity in my actual room as well. Here is my makeup vanity where I get ready pretty much every single day. There are three different color settings. This one is the one I use, this one's a little more blue, and this one's a little more warm. So I feel like this one is the perfect in between, but it's still not bright enough for me when I get ready. And so I use this aperture light every single time I'm filming a TikTok, or a YouTube video, or even when I'm taking Instagram pictures. It's literally the brightest thing ever, and it instantly makes everything look like daytime. For reference, here's without, and here's with it on. It just makes everything so much better. I'm so glad that I brought you guys along with me on this closet organization and kind of life hack type of video. I am always organizing and cleaning something somewhere around my house, so if you guys would like to see more videos like this, then be sure to let me know in the comments below. It's the way that it's 11.57 and I told myself that I would be in bed by 10 o'clock, but I'm over here organizing and rearranging my entire closet. Once I start something and put my mind to it, I have to accomplish it, otherwise I would not be able to go to bed. But now that all this is done, I can now go in the shower and start my nighttime routine, which doesn't take very long, but I'll bring you guys along with me on it. I'm officially all showered and ready to hit the pillow right there. I'm in a matching pajama set, of course. I literally cannot remember the last time I went to bed without wearing one. It makes me feel so put together and also so snuggled and cozy and just ready for bed. It's literally one in the morning, but let's go make some tea and then we'll be ready for bed. That is 
is so gross. I put a spoonful of this into my tea. It's kind of like a hard pasty honey, but it's so good. This is so good.